Hey Crossword fans, today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. All right, let's get started. A hatchling, one across, hatchling, hmm. Do you think this could be squab, maybe? That's like a baby pigeon. Let's see if the second letter is a Q. Road hog. Hmm. That's, I, I'm, this is a play on words and a hog is another name for a Harley, the motorcycle brand, right? So maybe that's just Harley. Yeah, I like that answer. Okay, so this is not gonna be squab. Hmm, maybe it's chick, like a baby chicken. Place of worship. I guess that's just church. All right. Foot support. I think that's like an insole. Like Dr. Scholl's or something like that. Appropriate. Okay, this is um This is one of those tricky words where it looks the same, but can be pronounced two different ways. I think that's maybe called a homogram or something like that. But yeah, it's it could be appropriate or it could be appropriate. And those are two different meanings. Um, let's see which one this is. Um, appropriate just means, well, you know what appropriate means and appropriate means to sort of like take something that's not yours or yeah, something that doesn't belong to you really. Um, Okay, clan, that could be kin. Is this gonna be Hanoi? World capital that's home to the Temple of Literature built in 1070. Whoa, that has been around a long time. All right, yeah, that's probably Hanoi. Crime investigated by an insurance company. That should be arson, not arson. Hmm, so it's not church. What is this gonna be then? Oh, if this is, okay. So maybe it's a chapel. Interesting, okay. Yeah, appropriate could be co-opt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's usually not like taking something physically that's not yours, but it's like taking a style or, it's usually in regards to like cultural stuff you're appropriating, yeah. Okay, way to catch a conger. Okay, this might be a, a theme answer possibly because a conger is a kind of eel, I think. And yeah, it looks like we have eel in the answer already. So eel trap, that would be a way to catch a conger, right? Yeah, this has a question mark at the end of it, but sometimes question marks indicate theme answers and not necessarily wordplay clues. So it might, the answer might just be eel trap. Um, and I'm not sure what about this is a theme is going to do with the theme, but maybe once we get some more answers filled in, we can figure it out. Bulk up as muscles. Hmm. I refuse to believe that. Not no way. Hmm. Economic downturn. I think that should be recession, right? Something we're all in right now. Input. Hmm. Month with a holiday on its final day. I guess that's. Is that October? I mean, Halloween's on the last day in October, right? It's not like a national holiday, though. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like people don't count Halloween as a real holiday, but it's my favorite. Fiona and Shrek for two. Okay, they're both ogres. Yeah, I think Fiona became a Shrek. Uh, Fiona became an ogre at some point in one of those movies, right? Resisting. Hmm. What is this long answer in the middle here? The main characters of Brokeback Mountain, e.g. 
Yeah, this it's it seems like this is going to be a theme answer of some kind. They were both the characters in Brokeback Mountain were both like cowboys kind of except they weren't they were like wrangling sheep or something. It was it was like a weird job that they were doing. They had to go up in the mountains and take care of like goats or sheep or something like that. Hmm. Interesting. Apple centers, that's going to be cores. They're not talking about uh, they're not talking about Apple stores. Speed. Uh that might be pace possibly. Like the speed you're going, the pace you're going. Break things breaks things off. Oh, this is tricky. This is ends it, I think. Yeah, I, f I always feel like it's hard when it's a present tense clue. Like, y you think the answer should end in an S, and then it the S is there, but it's in it's like a two word answer, and the S is on the first word. That's always tricky. Ends it. Door to door sales company. That's Avon. Yeah, if you've ever dealt with an Avon lady. Homework lover say, <laughs> nerd. It's cool to like homework. Okay. Okay, so maybe this is aversion, resisting? No, that's the wrong part of speech. Maybe it's averse to, resisting. Averse to. I feel like maybe that's okay. Yeah, if, if, if you were to say my kid's resisting taking a bath, my kid's averse to taking a bath. I guess, yeah, I'm still not 100% sure if that's right. Helpful info for a curbside pickup briefly. Hmm. Maybe ETA? Like a curbside pickup, like a taxi, maybe? Hmm. I guess maybe that's right. I'm not sure about that. Maybe like in, an, in a ride share app? Furnish with money. This is giving someone money, maybe? Endow? Yeah. Like you're endowing a university or something like that. Darn it. Mm, I'm not sure about this A. This is looking wrong. What in the world? is going on in this theme answer. Hmm. I do feel like maybe there's some wrong stuff over here. Military branch of the UK. Hmm. I don't really know anything about the British military. There's the RAF, right? Isn't that the Royal Air Force? Maybe that's what it is. That's the only thing I can think that would fit there. Oh boy, this is this making this this long answer look worse and worse. Input could be enter though, like input as a as a verb. Yeah, this is a tricky. This could be a noun or a verb. It's very, it's ambiguous and could, could go either way. So it looks like it's the verb, enter. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if... Maybe it's not eel trap. It's, I mean, this is, I, I, I suspect this is a theme answer. So maybe there's some weirdness going on here. Hmm. Loser at Waterloo. That was Napoleon. Abba was the winner at Waterloo. Okay, cycles. Mm. Is it like a bicycle cycles? I don't think so. I think this is just going to be like periods or something. Hmm. Can we get some of these downs here? Places to find food courts and kiosks. <laughs> You're talking to a kid of the 80s. I know that that's a mall. 
Miss Plank, famed TV psychic, Miss Cleo. Yeah, she was around around the turn of the century, I think. She was on TV, her infomercials were everywhere. Profess, I think that's probably a vow. All right, this is great. So hopefully this is gonna help us maybe get this long answer. Till compartment, uh, a till is like the cash drawer in a cash register. So that's gonna be tens. One of the four in the human heart. I guess there's four valves in the human heart in addition to chambers. Alley Prowler, <laughs> is that Tomcat? Cheese in an Italian sub. I guess that's provolone. Yeah. Something fellows, it looks like. Something, what, what could this be? Hmm. This looks like it wants to be an R to me. Hmm. What is wrong over here? I'm thinking maybe this is this is not right, but gee, I, I don't know. It's everything else seems to confirm it. Maybe instead of pace, it's race. So maybe this is another another example of one of those ambiguous. It could be a noun or a verb, like this. So instead of speed as a noun it's speed as a verb and then it would be race so you're racing somewhere you're speeding somewhere and then I, this still doesn't quite make sense to me rangered fellows hmm boy sorry it's taking me so long to cotton onto this theme i just it's just totally baffling me Noisy shouting. A clamor, maybe? Hmm. Strike three, or you're out. Well, that's what an umpire says behind home plate. Hmm. Let's see if we can fill in this corner up here. Component of a cell phone bill. Hmm. Run out of juice. That could be die. Like if your cell phone dies, it runs out of juice. Like you, my mother, children's book. Okay, they're giving us a little bit of a gimme up here. That's good. Personal quirk. Maybe it's a tick? Hmm. Well, this could be data on a cell phone bill. And then maybe it is tick. Green, black, or white tree. Maybe it's ash? So is this right, Iris? Yeah, violet blue shade, that's right. So is this ump speech? Ump speech, I guess that would be ump speech. What? What is the like pun here? Ump speech? Up, is it up speech and there's adding an M? Hmm. You know, there's probably a revealer down here. All right, I'm just gonna stop thinking about it so hard and just kind of try and get to the bottom of the puzzle here. Out of its state. Hmm. Numb, maybe? If you're numb, you're a little out of it. Toggle on a clock. It's not AM, FM? Hmm. Make drunk quaintly. Is that besot? I love that word. Besot, besotted. You can call someone who's a drunkard a sot. Yeah. Show up. Uh, this could be like out, um, like outclass someone kind of, like you're showing someone up. Hmm. Line crosser of a sort. That should be scab, right? Like crossing a picket line. Okay, so maybe it's not numb. And then this is a coma. Yeah, the out of its state. Okay. Yeah, I guess numb isn't quite the right part of speech. Yeah. 
Okay. AM, PM. Okay, is the toggle. On a clock. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Show up is just come. Are you going to come? Are you going to show up? Okay. Bulk up as muscles. Huh. I guess it's sculpt. Like if you have sculpted abs. Noisy shouting is a clamor. Yeah. It is looking like eel trap. I guess that was right after all, huh? And then this is can't be. Oh, wow. Range bedfellows. Okay. So instead of strange bedfellows, it's range bedfellows. Okay. And then, so maybe it's just losing the ST at the beginning of the answer here. So what would make, that would make this a stump speech. Okay, yeah, like a political stump speech. Okay, all right, we've, I think we've, we're finally making making sense of this theme. And then this would be a steel trap instead of an eel trap. Okay, so I guess we're losing the ST. Maybe we're losing the saint at the beginning of the answers. Or maybe the street. Uno y uno, that's dos, right? Spanish, one plus one. Cycles, maybe that's petals. Look at that, is that another... Yeah, that's another ambiguous verb noun clue. <laughs> that's the third one. Interesting. Oh man. Darn it. Society at large with the the masses maybe. Drinking buddy. Okay, so this is going to be another theme answer and we've got ALE already so we can just in our minds, put an ST in front of it, I think. So that would be stale. What kind of phrase starts with stale? Hmm. St and it's going to be a word for friend. Maybe getting the first letter would help. European country with a cross on its flag. Uh. Well... Switzerland has a cross on its flag, right? Is there another one? Is it Swiss? Hmm. When the Kentucky Derby is held. Is that May? I think that's right. Big bushy-tailed squirrel. Hmm. Is that like a species name? Went to a restaurant that ate out... I know all of us cannot wait to be able to do that again. Like some breads and beers. That's definitely going to be yeasty. You're drinking some yeasty brews with your ale mate. Oh, there we go. Stale mate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what is this then? Malta? Spot. That should be area, I think, right? That's my spot, that's my area. Does that make sense? Sort of. Blank world, Sesame Street segment. I think that's Elmo's world. He gets his own special segment. So is this a marmot? Is that right? European country with a cross on its flag. Maybe it is Malta. Cause let's look at, I think this is our revealer here. Kind of beer or a multi-word hint to 1822, 37, 51, and 57 across. Yeah, so I think that's just gonna be stout. It's a kind of beer and literally if you break it up, it's ST out. So that you're just taking the ST out of the beginning of each of the theme answers. This is a very beer heavy corner in here. I'm loving this. Getting a little tipsy over here. Okay, so yeah, this is looking like Malta. Key that exits full screen video is escape, and then I guess slightly spiteful is caddy. Okay, great. So we've got one more theme answer. Let's take a look at that and see if we can get it. Gross messages. Hmm. It is kind of hard to because the 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 phrase in the in the answer, in the theme answers, aren't really related to what the clue is. It's kind of hard to guess what they're going to be before you get some 
some more crosses in there. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. Because the, the, the phrase that's indicated in the clue is like the wacky answer, kind of. So yeah, the underlying original phrase is kind of inscrutable until you get some, some help there. So let's look at some of these downs here. Long-term US security. That's a T, it's either a T bond or a T note. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bond because this is looking like, might be obsess on the way across here. Fixate, yeah, obsess. So let's put in T bond. Tend to the sauce, say, like on a stovetop maybe, or tending, so you'd be stirring it, stir. Blank, meeny, miny, mo, eeny. Okay, let's make sure we got these answers down here correct. Temperance, proponents, dries, yep. Yeah. Dries as opposed to wets. It was like the political division when they were talking about prohibition. Number of MVP awards won by Wayne Gretzky, nine. Well, I believe it, he is the goat of hockey, right? All right, is that the, that's everything, right? Yeah, okay. So this is end in notes, gross messages, icky notes, sticky notes. Yeah, that's great. That's a really nice one. Very nice. So that's our last stout answer. Blank say, maybe that's I'll say? Hmm, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Does this begin in L? Princess who says you're my only hope in hologram. Yeah, that's Princess Leia. Talking to a Star Wars nerd. And there, there's a nerd around here somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Star Wars nerd. Okay. Um, let's see. If, are we going to be able to get this? Rich soil is loam, I think. So yeah, let's just... Is this an O? Bus driver. <laughs> That's cute. So business driver and it's CEO. Sportage automaker. Yeah, that's just Kia, the Korean car maker. Crop item grown in Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart. I guess that's Yam. I have not read that book, but I have heard of it. Okay. Um, yeah, and this is going to finish us off with Loam. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, that's a that was a that was a really nice midday theme, or a midweek theme rather. Um, I think yeah, it did we we worked our way through that puzzle pretty briskly. Uh, am I right in thinking there's no proper names on this puzzle at all? I, I guess there's um, place names, but like as far as like persons names, I don't remember seeing a single proper name. That's wild. Okay, Napoleon, I guess counts, maybe. Wow, that's amazing. And Leia, sort of, fictional. I think it's Elmo counts, but yeah, as far as like real people go, I don't think we, maybe, I guess Napoleon's the only one. Wow, that's, that's very unusual. I feel like just to finish off puzzles, constructors sometimes are forced to rely on proper names. So this is very impressive that there's as little proper names in this puzzle as there is. And I really liked this theme, this stout theme, dropping the STs is, is fun. You, you find, you end up with some funny, um, weird answer uh, phrases. Um, but yeah, they're all very gettable. So yeah, loved this puzzle. A plus from me. All right, I hope you enjoyed solving that Wednesday themed puzzle along with me. Hopefully tomorrow there's going to be another fun theme in store on the Thursday puzzle. And until then, yeah, that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.